Hi Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly reading for May the 12th to the 19th. As always, we're just going to pull some cards and find out what is going on for you guys. And we're going to begin with the spirit animal guidance messages. Uh, please do keep in mind as well that this is still a general reading, okay? So it's not necessarily going to resonate just for you. Or perhaps maybe not all of the messages are going to resonate for you, okay? So you only take what is yours and you leave what isn't yours for someone else. Okay, so yes, you do have your own energy coming out here with the back and transition this is clearly eighth house energy okay it says you must pay attention to the signs around you the transition may seem frightening at first but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your higher calling they would only hinder your growth so i'm getting with this one that something about your daily routine is about to change up okay um, which can be unsettling but ultimately your routines being changed up uh, for reasons of good okay for reasons that is going to benefit you but perhaps for reasons that are not going to be immediately obvious but later on down the line you will be glad that these particular changes did happen okay um, so as always with changes, it's always better to lean into the changes that are happening rather than trying to fight against the changes, okay? Um, letting go of old habits and patterns that do not serve your higher calling. So is there anything that you do or anything that you contribute to that is unhealthy for you. It is time for you to challenge those particular habits. Could be drinking too much, could be smoking too much. Um, it could be too much negative thinking, anything like that, okay? Anything that isn't serving you, it needs to be um, called into question. It needs to be reanalyzed, right? Okay, what is the rune of the week for our Scorpio Collective, please? What is the rune for the week? Oh, it's not a rune. It's Alphaheim. Glimmers of potential and probability, a portal, an opportunity. Um, fortune. I'm hearing fortune. So something to do with good luck and good fortune. Glimmers of potential, something. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you, you had this one last week, Scorpio. Asgard, the golden palace. Divine judgments, decree, outcome, a positive outcome. So yeah, I feel that you're being asked this week, Scorpio, to take a risk, to take a chance. Uh, you can see, well, I'm hoping that you can see, there's actually... Um, where that river is split, there is people on this side of the embankment and other another group of people on that side of the embankment. And there's no bridge. Okay, there's no bridge. What they're actually doing is they're trying to get pieces of rope. They're trying to gather pieces of rope. And then these guys over here, they're trying to gather pieces of rope. Maybe there was at one point a bridge there, but it's since snapped. And, and these two groups are trying to come together so that they can mend this bridge and then everybody can, can cross whenever they like. Or maybe they're just trying to help this one group um, cross over. I feel that there, there is a message here about potentially mending bridges. Now, I don't know if that's going to be like a reconciliation. Perhaps you're going to be reconciling with someone special this week, Scorpio. Maybe that that's a, a valid possibility. Um, this could be about you working within a group of people, you know, uh, finding your group of people, working towards a common goal, uh, sharing the same sort of... Um, Sharing the same sort of goals in life and, and working with others to achieve your goals in life, it could be. Um, I am feeling that you're going to be receiving a helping hand this week, Scorpio, with something to do with your journey thus far and, and how you're going to get yourself to the next level of something to the next level of your own personal growth to the next level of your spiritual journey maybe to the next level of your career it, it could be any branch of any number of different things okay but it, it's all about teamwork working with others uh, something to do with how other people are going to help you to get to the place where you're wanting to be okay that message is coming through 
loud and strong. Um, I do apologise, there's an ice cream van just passing, so it might get a little bit noisy. Um, but yeah, probability and then Asgard, obviously that is the, the place where all the Aesir live, the place where the gods live. Uh, the Golden Palace, you definitely did have this one last week uh, because it was used as your thumbnail. <laughs> a very beautiful thumbnail it was as well. Uh, yeah, the Golden Palace, outcome positive, beautiful outcome. Um, so a continuation of the energy that we saw for you guys last week, uh, for certain. Okay, um, so definitely this week you're going to be taking a risk or taking a chance on something to do with your destined life path, right? Okay, what is Scorpio's power color for this week, please? What is Scorpio's power color? What is Scorpio's power color, please? Uh, okay, blue. Your power color is blue, Scorpio. For some of you, that's actually your favorite color anyway. <laughs> Obviously not for everybody, but for someone it definitely is because someone went, woohoo! <laughs> uh, blue, activate your healing power. So using blue this week is going to help activate your healing powers, Scorpio. It is going to help to increase your vitality levels, okay? So if you feel that you're needing a bit of a energy boost, then wear or carry something with you that is blue. Um, it says it calms you when you feel nervous or overexcited. So the situation is uh, playing out this week where you're feeling both nervous and excited about it at the same time. OK, so again, blue is going to help you to regulate your emotions. Blue, of course, that is your sixth, uh, excuse me, <laughs> is your fifth chakra uh, for the f for the throat. OK, which is all about communication. It deals with truth and it can be blocked by lies. Um, <sighs> avoid avoid lies or liars this week Scorpio I mean you probably should be avoiding that anyway but yeah truth speaking communication um a lot of communicating with other people this week I feel Scorpio so make sure always that you say what you mean you mean what you say um pick your words carefully and just remember to try and articulate your points clearly OK, and again, if you struggle with that, uh, like I do <laughs> under normal circumstances, um, maybe something blue is going to help you out. OK, right. So let's take a look in your finances and career energy first, and then we're going to take a look into your love and relationships energy. OK, right. What is going on? The Scorpio's finances and career energies first, please, for the week of the 12th to the 19th of May. Scorpio's finances and career energies, please. Scorpio's finances and career energies. Okay, thank you. Empress and the Ten of Wands. Oh dear, Scorpio. Uh, okay, um... The spirit saying that they don't want you to get burnout, okay? Like, you, you're trying to take on quite a lot at one time. You're trying to uh, do so much at one time that you might end up spreading yourself out too thin and you could end up getting some kind of burnout here, okay? Um, they're saying it's absolutely wonderful and fantastic that you are leaning into this Empress energy, your Divine Feminine energies. Again, it doesn't matter if you identify as a man, women, gender fluid, whatever, right? It doesn't make a difference. There's no gender in tarot. It's just the polarization of the feminine or the masculine principle, okay? This is all about creation, fertility, um, it's abundance as well. It's self-made energies. So you're trying to increase something here in your life to do with your finances and career. And Spirit's saying, by all means, 
you can do that, but make sure that you're not overburdening yourself or overwhelming yourself. Okay, make sure make sure that you're leaving room for other things as well in your life that are enjoyable, other things that, that you love, right? Wheel of Fortune, a Sagittarius energy. Of course, this is your luck. Your luck turning, okay? Things are moving in spite of uh, how you might feel about your finances or career. You might feel that it's a little bit stagnant right now, but Spirit's saying, no, Scorpio, actually it is increasing, it is moving, okay? Something's moving in the right direction. Spirit's saying that they don't want you to panic, they don't want you to freak out about that perceived lack of growth or that perceived lack of movement. They don't want you doing anything daft that is going to be difficult for you to undo later on down the line. So, for example, um, I mean, you could be in my situation where you're like, look, I can't make this thing grow anymore. Like, it's reached a certain plateau point. I'm needing to, you know earn so my family can survive and then and then later on they can start to thrive i need to earn more money like the thing that i'm doing right now it's not it, it's not growing it's you know it's stagnant i need to find a second job basically right you could be in that same situation where you're like fuck i need to find a second job i need to find some way of increasing my income because at the moment it's just not enough and do you know what scorpio like literally at least 90% of society at the moment are in that exact same situation right now like for, for definite the vast majority of us are feeling that pressure feeling that sting you know just like I'm, I'm not going to go into great depth with it all but I, I could completely go off on a tangent here about what's going on politically but I will not um the vast majority of us are in that situation where it's like, look, I am no longer able to sustain myself, my family, okay, Empress and Ten of Wands. It is a struggle to sustain this. We need to do something different. We, we need to find a new job. You could be in that situation, Scorpio, where you're debating, okay, I need to find a second job. Spirit's saying, hold your horses, okay? Something is moving here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? That might not be necessary, at least not right now. It might not be necessary. This could just be you freaking out. This could just be you panicking, you know? They're saying with that Wheel of Fortune, try not to jump the gun type thing, okay? King of Wands and the Lovers with the Ace of Coins, with the Eight of Coins, the Two of Coins, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, your finances are getting balanced out, okay? You've got the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I love that cute wee ghost. It's so funny. Um, it's like, yeah, something looks scary, but it actually isn't. Um, avoid catastrophizing about your situation this week, Scorpio, okay? I know it's a lot easier said than done. Especially when you can see the themes, you can see the patterns that are playing out. Um, but Spirit's saying here, look, you genuinely are running the risk here of overwhelming yourself. Okay, so Seven of Cups, choose wisely. Make sure that you're not choosing from uh, scattered thinking or confused thinking or make sure you're not choosing from a from a place of confusion okay this seven of cups is really quite different from the traditional seven of cups because in actual fact all of the cups are empty okay normally with the seven of cups there's a different thing in every single one of the cups but in this deck they're all empty so it's like your overall energy is saying scorpio you run in the risk of being unsatisfied with whatever you choose to do right now. So really, it's time to bring it back to basics this week, okay? Because whatever you pick this week, you might well uh, be tempted to pick fault in it, <laughs> okay? And then you've got the Six of Cups at the bottom of that deck. Again, really different from traditional tarot because the traditional one, there are two people in the Six of Cups and it's like the, the older one is giving the younger one a bunch of flowers. But this one, she's by herself, okay? So, <laughs> so there is a message here about um, 
taking a step back also because it's going from the seven to the six right so so there is a decrease here that's going on but it looks like this slight decrease is actually a positive now how to work that in with your finances and career i mean it's difficult to say to be honest with you and then the five so a decrease again the king of swords and the hermit okay so there's a decrease in something to do with options Decrease in options. This is going to help you to make your decisions. So you needn't to narrow it down. You needn't to narrow down your options. And come from a place of uh, logic as well with that King of Swords. 765. It's a decrease. It's a consistent decrease. And feeling genuinely unsatisfied or dissatisfied with your finances or your career at this point in time. Okay, so it's like you can you can see the steady decline. And you're analysing, okay, what am I going to do about that decline? I can't afford for it to decline any further. King of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ace of Coins. There could be someone else here around you that, that can help you out. Because your King of Wands is all about taking action. It's being very decisive as well. There, there's a new opportunity here that's coming to you from this King of Wands, it could be. Which is someone, um, someone very youthful, someone very excitable. I feel that you're really going to be impressing someone here this week, Scorpio. So if you are going to go in for a job interview, it looks like you're going to be really impressing the, the person who's interviewing you. It's kind of like getting that offer on the spot. Okay, so if you are struggling to find work at this point in time, then you're going to be offered a job on the spot, okay? You're definitely really impressing someone here. I need to find out more about this energy there. What's that, um, what's that decline all about, please? From the seven to the six to the five of cups. What's that decline all about, please, in Scorpio's energy? What is that decline? I feel that that's like a decline in overall satisfaction levels. I feel it's that decline because it's cups energy isn't it it's emotions yeah the empress again divine feminine energies and tell us more be happy with the results of your actions so you're not showing yourself enough gratitude here Scorpio and that's affecting your overall outlook okay Knight of Wands in the reverse position and the ten of, and the ten of coins at the bottom of that deck careless be cautious of any careless spending this week scorpio or anyone in your family being careless Be cautious of taking careless action. Be cautious. They're saying, be careful of acting on impulse this week. So if you make any impulsive decisions about your finances or your career this week, then that would be really foolish and that could negatively have an impact on yourself and your family. Okay. It's it's all about figuring out where this decline in overall satisfaction levels is coming from. Because emotionally, it's like, yeah, I should be happy with that achievement. I should be satisfied with that achievement. But I'm just not. I'm just feeling really ugh about it. You know, I'm feeling either icky about it or nonplussed about it. I feel that there definitely needs to be a lot more self-appreciation from, from, from you to you this week, Scorpio. Definitely.
They're, they're saying loud and clear, do not make any impulsive decisions this week. Do not take on any more than, than what you're able to this week, Scorpio. And if you do have to take on extra work or extra responsibilities, make sure that there's someone around you who can help you out with that. Someone who you can delegate certain things to. Okay, tell us about the King of Wands, the Scorpio, thank you, the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. Um... What is it that you value? Traditions. This is a very traditional individual, or you're a very traditional individual. Um, I'm getting a lot of spiritual energy here as well. So it feels like spirit is wanting for you to focus on your spiritual journey as well. Okay. Um, hmm. Or maybe do, do something with your next career that involves some kind of teaching or spirituality okay again to take it as it resonates i just realized i've got sunburn on my wrist <laughs> i've only been out in the sun for like an hour <laughs> scottish blood yo we're so allergic to the sun it's hilarious uh clarify the ace of coins please for scorpio <laughs> I'm melting. Uh, the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo Energy. Okay. Um, hmm. Again, Rashness, Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins with the Hermit in Reverse, Rashness. I, I feel that that's like a, a quick message. Someone's breaking their silence here. What's going on with that Hermit Reverse and the Ace of Coins? Seven, seven of coins. Somebody does definitely want to work with you, Scorpio. Someone's been procrastinating about offering you some kind of job or position. Someone's definitely wanting to work with you here on a new project and they're going to speak with you about it this week. So I think that that's why Scorpio, uh, uh, why Spirit was saying here, don't act out of rashness this week. Because you got something unexpected that's coming in. Don't overcommit yourself. Eight of coins. Why the eight of coins? Scorpio, please. Thank you. Yeah. Is that ten of wands? It keeps coming out. Three of coins and the ten of cups. Yeah. Working hard, putting in the extra hours. Working diligently. Uh, maintaining a very high standard of work. Keep, keep your work ethics high also. Okay. And again, like Spirit saying, look, Scorpio, there's always another way to do something. There's another way for you to work. That there's another way for you to see an increase without you having to take on extra burdens, extra responsibilities. But it's saying, look, your finances is going to level out. It's going to balance out. You are going to be okay. You're going to manage. You're going to be fine. You're going to be taken care of. And then this nine of wands, um, again, really, really different from the traditional nine of wands because it, it looks like he's using them as stilts. So, that, so that's a leg up. You're being lifted. You're being uplifted. Three of coins working well with others. It's collaborating with others. Reaching out for help from others as and when you need it. Okay. Um, definitely don't overwhelm yourself this week. And with the Ten of Cups, Spirit saying, look, everything that you have planned when it comes down to your finances and career, it is going to work out. It is going to work out. They're saying, don't give up don't give up and keep the faith don't give up keep the faith okay yeah nine of wands again that there's no need for, for you to do so much okay right let's take a look into your um love and relationships i'll tell you what i'll actually do scorpio i'm gonna clean away all of these cards for you so that we can have a nice clean table to pull a new spread from okay 
Right, and then we're going to take a look into your love and uh, relationship energies. Now, of course, that can be romantic love, romantic relationships, or just in general relationships with other people around you at this time. Okay, again, how it resonates is going to be completely for you to decide. Okay. All right, love and relationship energy for our Scorpio Collective for the 12th to the 19th of May 2024, please. What is coming in for Scorpio Collective? Love and relationship energy, please. Love and relationship energy for Scorp. <clears throat> love, okay. Empress again. Empress and the two coins. Yeah. Um, so that tells me, again, whether you, <laughs> whether you identify as feminine, masculine, gender fluid, doesn't matter. It just tells me that right now your focus actually isn't on love and relationships. Your focus right now is balancing out your two of coins, is keeping your head above water, keeping yourself afloat. So that's why they wanted me to start your read this week, Scorpio, with your finances and career spread, um, which is really unusual from your normal um, layout of the of the, the weekly reads, isn't it? Um, <sighs> That's why, because at the moment, that's where your focus is. That's where you're putting a lot of your energy towards this um, growth. Yeah, page of coins. Page of coins taking on something new. This could be meeting new people as well this week, Scorpio. You could be meeting new people that you're going to be working with, with the page of coins. Because that's like a student. It's starting again, starting at the bottom of something so you can work your way back up. Okay, page of coins, student. Learn as you go. So you're learning something as you go. You could be feeling that pull to, to learn a new skill as well. Because coins can be skills. Two of wands and the two of cups making plans with a partner okay so that's like bring more attention towards your partner if you have one or bring more attention to yourself okay they're saying scorpio this week it cannot possibly be all work and no play there you go there's your play with the sun positivity optimism happiness joy celebration growth abundance nothing would ever grow without the sun maybe spending some time out in the sun <laughs> with the one that you love with your partner or you know just with anyone that you care about a good friend as well could be but there needs to be more emphasis put on your relationships and how you relate to others this week definitely oh look nine of coins last card in the spread nine of coins i told you, you your money will follow Spirit doesn't want you getting distracted right now by all work, no play, definitely. They're wanting for you to put more time, efforts and energy into the relationships around you. And they're saying your money will follow, okay? You've got the nine of wands here. Again, that's a really unusual nine of wands um, because the middle one's lit. The middle one's lit. So you're lit this week. <laughs> You're lit, you're on, you're on fire. Oh, you're feeling more empowered this week. <clears throat> or maybe someone around you is feeling empowered. You've got the four of ones also. That's stability, a milestone. So you're reaching some kind of milestone this week with a significant other or with a potential partner. I feel that if you've got a secret admirer, which a small handful of Scorpios, you do actually have a secret admirer. I'm seeing strongly that this is going to be the week where they break their silence. OK, if you're currently single, then this is going to be the week where you actually make something official with that special person. If you've already got a partner, it looks like th th there's going to be more time spent on being intimate with that particular partner. You got some kind of plan for the future here with that special person in your life okay the two the two two sun the two two sun so it's like yeah you and you've got another two there as well you could be seeing a lot of two 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 at this point in time 
Okay, which is all about remembering that you're not alone, you're not by yourself. You've also got the High Priestess, which is another two. Yeah, you def you, you've seen a lot of twos this week, Scorpio. That means that your manifestations are working well. It means that your decision making this week needs to be firm, okay? You're not going to be able to make any plans for the future if you're coming from a wishy-washy energy, okay? That involves everything. That's about your finances, your career, your relationships, uh, the, the relationship that you have with yourself as well. You've got to be decisive this week. Um energy at the bottom of the deck interesting it's the eight of cups <clears throat> eight 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 five eight of cups eight of wands five of swords queen of swords okay Looks like you're going to be getting an offer for something that you do not want this week, Scorpio. So they're saying that you might have to be brutal and very, very decisive. Okay. Again, for anyone who's looking for work, that could be a job offer. You could be getting offered a job this week for a place that you don't particularly really want to work for. And you might have to say to them, thanks, but no thanks. As far as relationships go, Scorpio, I am seeing that there's either a Sagittarius, a Pisces, or an Aquarius, or a Libra that is wanting to speak to you this week, and it's showing me that you're probably going to be ignoring them, okay, or you're avoiding someone who has one of these star signs this week. It's like you can't bear to face someone this week. They, they've done something really hurtful to you. You can't bear to face them. It's like, I don't want to speak to that person right now. Because if I start speaking to them, I'm going to lose my fucking temper. And I'm going to end up regretting it later on down the line. This week, I'm just wanting to focus on this right here. I want to focus on my special person this week. I want to focus on myself this week. I, I, I don't want anyone coming in this week and really sort of trying to pull me down. So I am seeing that you are going to be really quite happy and fulfilled this week, Scorpio, okay? The only major issue I can see is you're receiving too much. You're receiving too much of something that's going to lead you to feel quite overwhelmed. Do you know what I mean? So there's there's going to be like too many people are wanting to speak to you. Or there could be too many offers are coming in for you. And you don't know what to choose because there's too, too many. It's a typical case of when you wait on a bus, you wait forever, none of them turn up. And then all of a sudden, when you least expect in it, you've got 30 or 40 of the bloody things that are turned up at the same time. Yeah, it, it's that typical thing that's going on here this week for that, for that energy, Scorpio, definitely. You, you're reaching some kind of milestone when it comes down to either relationship goals, your own personal goals, goals that you set for yourself, or career goals. You, you are actually hitting that particular milestone this week. And you're going to be glad that, that you didn't quit, that you didn't give up. Okay. There, there, I need to, cl I got to clarify that nine of wands. There's another message there that's coming, wants to come through for that, but I can't quite pill it at this point in time. Can you tell us what is that nine of wands for Scorpio, please? What is the message that wants to come through for Scorpio? Nine of wands. Thank you. The six of wands, I told you. Lord of Victory. It's the Lord of Victory. There is a very positive result that's coming through for you, Scorpio. It's the results that you were waiting for. It's the results that you were wanting. It is coming through. Yeah, another nine. Nine of Cups. Something that's going to make you incredibly happy. You'll be glad that you didn't take that um, the impulsive action at the start of the week, you'd be glad that you didn't act on impulse because closer towards the end of the week, you're going to get that positive result that comes through. 
You see what I'm saying? You've got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Think, things are easing off. Things are becoming easier. If there have been relationship struggles or rela like struggles with somebody specifically that you've been dealing with, it looks like the air is being cleared this week. A lot of things are being cleared up for you this week, Scorpio. You'll be glad that, that you didn't... Um, that you didn't just chuck in the towel with something. You'd be glad that you didn't quit with something. Page of coins off balance. And the ace of coins in the upright. With the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You're putting your knowledge and information to good use. Somehow this week. And that's going to benefit your family. There's like some kind of knowledge or information that you have here um, that you will be sharing with others. It's kind of like you, you, you're helping to teach others or something like that. And it's going to be of good benefit to your family. King of Swords, Two of Cups, Five of Wands, Hierophant, Four of Cups. Um, interesting. There could be a Cancer, a Taurus, a Leo or an Aquarius, or a Pisces, that is currently arguing about you here. It's somebody that you're not speaking to, it's someone that you've rejected. They're wanting to make things up with you, they're arguing with another person about you this week. They're saying that they've got some kind of important information for you. I don't know what that's about. And to be honest with you anyway, Scorpio, it just feels like a whole bunch of drama. And the kind of drama that you don't need this week. Because you, honestly, you got far too fucking much going on this week, Scorpio. Like, definitely. You, you're not needing to get involved with any... Any kind of dramatic bullshit. Um, let's get you an Angel Numbers card. What else can you tell us for our Scorpio Collective, please? For the week of the 12th to the 19th of May. Thank you. 777 and 1414. Huh. And 1616. Right. Readjustments. So this is the week for you to make readjustments right you're tweaking things this week scorpio you're making improvements to things it says overcoming obstacles soulmates romance affection support and comfort your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right on the horizon is the possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic friendship as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past everything will fall Everything will fall to pieces. Bloody hell, I hope not. I think they mean everything will fall in place. I think that's what they mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus, don't be a doomsayer. Christ's sakes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so absolutely need that there was someone arguing about you someone is wanting to reconcile with you it's someone that you don't particularly want to speak to they might be breaking their silence this week okay scorpio listen you're going to be overcoming your obstacles you're going to be overcoming your struggles okay and as i've already said the vast majority of you is if you're currently single you're going to be getting together with that special person this week okay you've got good luck uh, contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, and divine intervention. That's what's going on this week, Scorpio, divine intervention. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty, which is what you're currently going through right now. You're going through intense uncertainty. You're like, shit, I don't know what direction I'm going. I, d I don't know. I've been offered this. I've been offered that. I've been offered this. Like, what, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? That is intense uncertainty, okay? So you've got divine intervention that's coming in. It's going to make things blatantly obvious for you about which of these things you should pick okay or which of these things is going to be most in alignment with you <clears throat> right this message uh i've already read that bit you'll come out winning from everything that may come your way okay so you are going to come out on top scorpio 
It is a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, which would be the height of an energy. Yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. So there's nothing wrong with the message or the teachings that, that you're giving to others, but perhaps there needs to be a little bit more work on your delivery. Okay, that's what Spirit's saying there. Um, lighten up. <laughs> Mood swings. Respect, family, constructive outlook and quality. Focus on your needs, desires and hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities. It could be a new friend or a new addition to your family. Good vibes will speed up the process. Yeah, newness, new energy. That's what you've been missing. And that's what you're going to be receiving. Newness. Uh, also with lighten up, um, very important not to take yourself too, too seriously. Very important for you to laugh at yourself when you make mistakes. Okay. Um, yeah, and just really utilizing that good sense of humor of yours this week, Scorpio. And that, that's going to help you get through it all as well. Okay. Right. So I'm going to conclude your read with one of these uh, naughty decks. For anyone who is visiting us for the first time, they might, they might, they may not know that this deck, um, oh, a lot of my decks can be very sarcastic or sweary. If you're allergic to that sort of thing, then you don't have to listen, okay? It's just a little bit of fun at the end of your reads, okay? Right. <laughs> Scorpio. Not giving a fuck is better than revenge. Revenge sucks. Just watch a superhero movie and look at all the villains. Those guys suck. Revenge is whack and petty and it gives you wrinkles. You know what's hot? Being the bigger person and letting shit go. Hair flip that shit, honey, and move the fuck on. Interesting. Revenge. So not giving a fuck is better than revenge. Okay. You do you, boo. You do you. Right, can we have a message for our Scorpio Collective, please? It could well be that person from the past where we saw their energy briefly could be them okay but uh, you, you might feel tempted to take some kind of revenge on them right Sun Tzu said in the practical art of war the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact to shatter and destroy it is not so good so too it is better to recapture an army entire than to destroy it to capture a regiment a detachment or a company entire rather than destroy them meaning argue with respect Okay, if both parties can remain respectful of one another during an argument, then the resolution will be something that's worth having. A serious argument can end in the destruction of a relationship, leaving devastation for both the defeated and the conqueror. An authentic victory is a victory over aggression, one that respects the enemy and renders further conflict unnecessary. Interesting. So there's going to be a difficult situation this week that plays out with a difficult person this week, Scorpio. Spirit saying, try not to say or do anything that you might end up regretting later on down the line or them towards you. Okay, maybe maybe they're the ones that need to be careful that they don't do anything permanent this week. Okay, what else? For our Scorpio Collective, please. Thank you. Inspiration. You're very inspirational, Scorpio. Okay, your love, light and wisdom touch the hearts and minds of many. You will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspiration, and healing results. Yeah. So I am speaking to Scorpios who are natural healers. Okay. Definitely. You inspire many. You help many. Even if you don't realize it, you actually do. Okay. 
And now, because of that, you're receiving a helping hand this week, Scorpio, and it feels spiritual. It feels like you're receiving spiritual good karma because that's what you've been putting out into the universe. And now you need help this week, Scorpio. You're receiving help this week. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to somebody. If you feel that you need a personal reading, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.